low model oil rotors. Uh, as I'm still dealing with getting the uh, DCS 100 unit prepared to run as my primary base station instead of my programming unit and taking my uh, DB150 from my primary unit to a booster I wanted to clear the settings or everything out of the register and uh, things like that so I'm going to walk through uh, changing one of these switches it's op switch number 39 which clears all internal memory states including op switch 36 37 38 uh, 36 clears all mobile decoder info and consists 37 clears all routes and 38 clears the local register so just to to make things nice and clean and ready to go on this base station uh, since I just got it back together from my previous video, I figured, hey, uh, I'm sitting right in front of it. Let's go ahead and uh, video capture on how to perform this function. So, uh, predominantly, uh, as you can see, I'm in run mode by the toggle switch being up all the way. I've turned the power on as indicated by our little light above the uh, the off word on the the uh, DT402 throttle display. So the manual tells us to press the uh, to go into ops mode. So we'll go from run mode to ops mode and to press the switch function and right now switch 005 is in the closed position and the manual does recommend that the command station master mode that the this be in the closed position and factory default has all the other switches in the throw position so um, that one is the one we'll just confirm when we're all done that it is still in the closed function. So uh, the one we want to change is uh, 39. So we'll just uh, 39. It's saying 39 is thrown as we would expect and then we'll just come down to the clock or the C and hit the C button so that went into close and then it says for this particular uh, clearing by using this particular switch that we go into sleep mode and then when the go back to the run mode it will automatically clear everything out of the register so ops mode and run mode and we'll go in and put the power back to on and now I'm going to go back to ops mode and hit switch and if we go back to switch 39 it's going to show that it is still thrown now we're going to go to whoop, 5 and now 5 is showing thrown so we're going to hit the close or the clock and or the C key and put that in back to uh, closed as the manual recommends uh, the other way that the manual recommended would be to pull the, 
the cover off and with no power running to the base station to pull the battery and that would uh, wipe all the data in the uh, that the battery is holding in the CMOS all those uh, electronic addresses I guess and it would wipe them and uh, everything would be restored to factory once the battery was put back in and the power was booted back up and then for that it just said to the manual just said to go back to run mode and uh, we'll just hit exit and power and power on and everything's ready to go now it does recommend that you not have any of your uh, local net uh, cables plugged in only the throttle plugged directly into the base station and uh, no track well I'm not sure if it recommends undoing the the rails but my own paranoia <laughs> uh, is to completely disconnect the uh, the wires going to rail A and B and unplug from the local net so that you isolate the base station uh, when changing any settings within it. That's just my personal preference. So there you are. Uh, hopefully if you have to do that yourself you can see how easy it is and you've got something to go by. So happy model railroading. Talk to you next time. Bye for now.